ったねー。Okay,、um, today we are doing one of the most requested comparisons on the channel. This is the Time War C3, and this is the King Grinder P2. The King Grinder P2 is one of the newest products from King Grinder. This is a new series. It's a very cheap, very affordable、um, hand grinder, which is at the top of its series. Actually, the P series.、Um, Consists with P0, P1, and P2. So, in the P series line, the P2 is the top of the line. So, it can actually, it can actually grind sizes for espresso. If you want to see that video, I'll put up the link here. And it can also grind sizes for filter. On this side, this is also one of the newest.、Um, Products from Time War. This is the pro. This is the Time War C3. I also made、um, quite a few videos on the C3 in the past. I did a partical analysis, and also we did an episode of the C3 versus the Q Air. Let me just check quickly、um, their prices on the internet right now. So the King Grinder P2 is right now it is sold for two thousand five hundred sixty-two pesos. So maybe around forty-five dollars. Yeah, somewhere around that forty-five dollars. And then the Time More C3. Yeah, is two thousand six hundred and eighty. Yeah, so this is the C three S. All right.、Um, so basically, they're the same price,、um, but yeah, they have very, very different、uh, particle size distribution. So we're gonna do a comparison of how their coffees taste like, and we're gonna do it with very minimal variables. So for this comparison, we're gonna use coffee from Intuit Coffee. This is the Josephine Libres、um, PCQC 2024. So at the same time, we are going to make this episode the Sunday recipe.、Um, so we're hitting two birds with one stone. So we're gonna do the comparison of the C3S King Grinder P2, and we're gonna do a Sunday recipe for a local coffee. Which is the Josephine Libres from Intuit Coffee. Right. Let's start by weighing this coffee. Let me just open this. Right.、Um, I want to weigh this. How much coffee do we have? Okay. So we have 50 grams. We have 50 grams of Josephine Libres. This coffee is really good. We actually used this during the competition, the fundraising competition of Intuit. It tastes like cinnamon and blueberries. I only managed to bring out the blueberries at the time. So let's see if either of the grinders can bring out the cinnamon part. Right. Next,、uh, let me just prepare my water. Two different servers. And for this comparison, we're gonna use the Hario Suiren. So this side will be all black, and then this side will be all colors. <laughs> Let's weigh. I don't know, maybe ten grams. Let me just check my conversion chart. According to my conversion chart, the P2 is the Time War C3. If we do like twenty clicks on the commandante, that is fourteen. And then for the P two, for the P two, twelve point two. We have twelve point two on the P two, so we're gonna put it here. Ten grams. And then we're gonna do another 10 grams for the Time War C3. Let's time it. I'm gonna start with the King Grinder P2. Start.
That is 31 seconds for 10 grams. Now we're gonna do the Time More C3, which is by far the fastest grinder that I've used. So we'll see if it we'll see if it's still the fastest one. Timer. Wow, okay. So 10 grams is 21 seconds. So the Time More C3 is 10 seconds faster over the P2. So the recipe that we're gonna do is um, equivalent to 20 clicks on the Comandante, 92 degree water. The brewer that we're using right now is the Soiren, but this is um, completely applicable to normal V60s. So for the King Grinder P2, we got 9.8, 0.2 gram retention, and the Timer C3 has minimal retention. So we have exactly 10 grams. All right, the grind size is um, not quite the same. I think we have more fine particles from the King Grinder P2 as compared to the Time More. We're gonna do like a very quick two pour method. So we're gonna pour 20 ml, so twice of the dose for the blooming phase. And then after 45 seconds, we're gonna pour all the way to 150 ml so that we minimize all the variables. Again, this Sunday recipe can be used with your normal V60 and a 92 degree water. Right. So let's start. So I did 30 ml for that because it has a lot of fine particles and we're gonna do the same with the Time War C3 coffee grounds. After 45 seconds, we're gonna pour all the way to 150 and we have, we have, we actually have darker um, foam with the P2. Okay, we have 150 and then for the time more. Okay, what I do is I pour in circles and then concentrate in the middle and then pour again in circles and then concentrate in the middle. The coffee from the P2 is a bit more muddy as compared to the time more C3S. <laughs> so the P2 um, aroma is um, very sweet. Um, it smells like a pie. Uh, it smells like a pie, like a blueberry pie. Hmm. And the C3, I think, has more, more like a jam aroma to it. So. Yeah, it's more like jam and bread. It's like blueberry jam on toast. While, while the King Grinder P2 smells like a blueberry pie. Wow, that's crazy. All right, um, let's do some, oh wait, let me write that down. Let me have a taste of both of the coffees. So let's start with, oh, by the way, by the way, before we do the taste test, the King Grinder finished at 1 minute and 52 seconds while the total brew time of the Time More C3 is around 1 minute and 41. Let's try this one. Oh wow! <laughs> the, the, the blueberry is very evident. So we got notes of blueberry, 
and the hint of cinnamon. It's like it's like you can taste the cinnamon on top of a crusted bread. Yeah, it's like that. Like caramelized cinnamon on top of a toasted or like a crusted pie. Yeah, it tastes like that. Next, we're gonna try the Time War C3. <laughs> yes. Um, so the smell, the aroma test that I did earlier is so on point. So this one tastes more like a blueberry jam on a toast of bread. So the cinnamon here is um, slightly weaker, but I can definitely taste the blueberries more. So this, so to translate that into like proper technical terms, the Timor C3 has brighter acidity as compared to a more sweet cup from the King Grinder P2. From the flavor notes, the blueberry is the acidity or the brightness part of the coffee. And then the cinnamon and bread or toast or the, like the caramel um, aspect of the coffee um, is the sweetness part of it. So... Um, if you combine those flavors, the coffee from the King Grinder P2 tastes a bit more like a blueberry pie with cinnamon, with toasted cinnamon, oh, with cinnamon on top. While this one tastes more like a black, more like a blueberry jam. Yeah, it tastes more like a blueberry jam which is more acidic, more bright, on a toast that you put cinnamon on it. Right, let me try again with a cup. I find myself laughing every time, every time I get results like this because I'm still, even, even up to now, I'm still surprised with, with the coffees that, that I brew. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes the coffee will, will surprise you. Imagine this is a local coffee and we have coffees that taste like this. There, there's more cinnamon now, but still very thin body. So I think that's it. The, the C3 is more bright, more on the acidity, more on the fruity, more bright um, cup. And then the P2 is more on the sweeter, more balanced, full bodied cup. I don't know how to pick between the two. <laughs> I would actually very much prefer the C3 just because I like it. I like it very bright. I like to highlight the, the acidity of the coffee. Um, but you can't, it's hard to say no to a very sweet cup, you know? Yeah? How about you? Which one would you prefer? Leave your, leave your comments down below. All right? For now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye! Oh, by the way, I'll be doing, I'll be doing a bar, I'll be doing a bar takeover at Snooze and Bar um, Cafe in N. Domingo, Quezon City this coming October 26th, so see you there.